welcome to some more Drive City. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. We're back in this game once again. Uh, we have a new update. The last video I covered, we didn't even look at the update. I did that one with my girlfriend. I want to say thank you guys for the support on that video. We had a lot of fun making it. Also, I have a second channel now. If you guys want to go check that out, I'm going to be posting some other simulator games and stuff like that. Lots of videos as well with my girlfriend over there. So check it out, guys. But uh, today what I want to do is actually show you guys um, something we're kind of leaning towards in Drive City. We're kind of moving in a new direction with the game. Nothing too crazy. I just want to tell you a new feature. Uh, don't worry, nothing crazy is happening. But uh, yeah, so we've got two new cars in the updates, of course, two awesome, very awesome cars in my opinion. We've got a original 1967 Shelby Mustang. This is actually the first car we've introduced working gauges. And basically what that means is if you go into first person, we actually have working gauges and they are in that classic old school design. So when you start to drive, you can actually see them increase. We're kind of trying to uh, lean more into the role play aspect of Drive City. That's something we haven't really touched on too much. So hopefully for the future, uh, we'll have more stuff like this to make role playing a little bit more authentic. Of course, main stuff is gonna be jobs, the police job as well. Lots of cool stuff coming guys, but it is gonna take us a little bit of time. Also, where is the sound though? Realistically guys, our next big thing for the game is actually performance mods. So stay tuned for that, that's coming very soon soon as well as some really cool cars in this week's update but yeah performance mods coming soon turbo supercharge engines transmissions all that kind of stuff coming very soon let's hear the startup though on this 67 mustang it's really really good so hold on here we go Hopefully you guys could hear that. I'll try to turn it up as much as possible, but uh, yeah, super cool. Headlights look absolutely amazing. This is honestly one of my favorite cars in the game right now. So, I mean, look at the way it just looks in the game. It's just so cool. It's so iconic. Now let's touch on the second car in our update. We have a Ferrari FXX. Okay, this is a different variant of it, but it is a very awesome Ferrari and uh, definitely a very eye-catching car as well. Look at the rear end. The tailpipe locations look so sick on this car. It's just really, really uniquely designed. So that is our second car. And the cool thing about it is it's actually not expensive. It's only 1 million, which as you guys can see, we don't actually have a lot of cars around that price. It goes from the Ferrari 812 right to the P1 McLaren. So now we've got something in between, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, that is definitely one of my favorite new cars. It fits a really good like middle point. We also have, of course, the Shelby for only 94,000. The Ferrari has a 214 mile per hour top speed and 2.8 0 to 60 looks actually really sick in black as well and then we have of course the Shelby looks awesome you can change the stripe color as well 170 mile per hour and 4.3 that's actually really good for an over 50 year old car that is pretty impressive now the challenge for today is actually using the Shelby and seeing if we can beat people um, with this car because realistically it's not that slow I think people kind of look at it and they're like oh you're using an old car um, that's gonna be an easy win but actually realistically especially with the boost it's not that bad look at how it looks with boost too so freaking cool. Here's our opponents, a Model S as well as a Corvette, I think. Okay, so let's see if the old school muscle can beat an electric car and new school muscle. This is actually kind of a good matchup here. Is this better than both new school muscle as well as an electric car? I went the wrong way, dude, I am so rusty. It's BBA if you guys are new to the game and still want to know how to do this race. Basically, there is a bunch of different paths and you kind of should take the best path, which in this case is BBA. Uh, so let's go ahead and I, we, we've, we've already finished the path part, which I feel like we, we are getting pretty decent time. So here we go. Good landing. Come on. Oh, dude, why is there stripes on the bottom half of this car? That is so weird. I just realized that. What the heck? Um, it looks like the Tesla is about to win actually. Oh my goodness Losing to a Tesla. That's so so wrong Let's see how well old-school muscle stacks up in the highway race because honestly There is quite a lot of uh, of good cars in this game with high top speeds. Oh god We've got a Ferrari. Come on. I believe in this car. Oh my god. What the heck? We've got the twin turbo Lambo from the Halloween event Ferrari 812 Porsche and a Hellcat. Okay, come on, Shelby. You can do this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're actually ahead of the Hellcat. 
And the Porsche is not doing too great against us. Honestly, this is kind of surprising. Wait, we're keeping up with the Porsche right now. What the frick? Oh no, I hit the wall. Oh god, I gotta, I gotta pay more attention. And here goes the Lambo just showing off. Great. Just great. It would have helped to have more gears, but then it wouldn't be realistic because I'm, I only have four gears, which means my top speed is not too high. But uh, yeah, hey, at least we're not getting last here. Of course, the twin turbo Aventador wins with 40 seconds. That car is just insane. Congrats to anybody who got it. Hey, we got third place, third out of five. We beat the Ferrari and we beat the, uh, the Hellcat. Dude, we did pretty good. Only lost there to, uh, to basically the Lambo. You know, there's one thing I've never done in this game yet, and that's race in first person. I'm gonna try that. All right, here we go. We should do some sort of tournament where the players can only use first person mode. That, that would completely change the game. Okay, there we go. I feel like I'm doing all right. Uh, big, big turns. It doesn't help that it's nighttime right now, but hey, I think I'm doing all right. Let's go, let's go. Oh my God, okay. It's hard to judge when you're gonna understeer. That's the only thing. It's hard to judge when you're gonna slide out. Come on, Shelby. We gotta win it. No, I just passed the freaking checkpoint. Come on. Oh no, dude. I was gonna win it. I just passed the checkpoint. Oh, I gotta admit though, this is a lot, a lot of fun. I gotta admit that is a lot of fun to do. Um, this is a bit of a bug though. Uh, we can kind of do this. There we go. Okay, very cool. I, I actually really enjoyed that. So guys, leave a like if you want more gauges and stuff like that and more roleplay elements because honestly, that is kind of where we're going. We are going to be adding in customization very soon, performance mods. So make sure to show your support and uh, let me know how excited you guys are for it and what kind of mods you want to see. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in the next Drive City video. Take care, everybody.